The following report contains some disturbing images. Today was supposed to be quiet in Gaza. Israel extended its ceasefire. But Hamas did not. This was filmed by the Israeli military. They say it shows rockets being fired from a school across the border into Israel. What is the benefit to the Palestinian people of Hamas breaking the truth and then having massive no, Israeli again. air fire? We're looking for a total uh, agreement and a full agreement that will end this uh, killing and lift the siege totally and uh, get our freedom. This was Israel's response. Well, it's just gone 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, we were told that Israel was adhering to the ceasefire and that we were okay to travel on this area, but we're hearing a fairly constant barrage of artillery incoming. We've seen smoke rising in a number of different locations. There, there. An intense bombardment followed. Israel had declared its ceasefire over, but many residents were simply unaware. The young mother said she was running away with her children because her house had just been hit. Now, just now. And while we talked to another resident, more shells were landing. They didn't even flinch. He says the shellings become normal, even for the children. It may have become normal for some, but no less deadly. An emergency team is being called out. People have been injured. Four people have been wounded. They said they'd been working on their farm. All of them had shrapnel wounds. Even for rescue workers, the risks have become every day. There was hope of a longer ceasefire, even a peace process, but this feels far from over. Ian Panel, BBC News, Gaza.